I'm Kat and Ivan. Welcome back to Holo Holo, the show that aims to spotlight our very own talent. And joining us today is a phenomenal cellist. She st shared the stage with Andrea Bocelli, Sarah McLaughlin, Carly Rae Jepsen, and she currently is a resident cellist for Celine Dion at Caesars. Welcome, Judy King. Hi. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you for having me. Thank everyone. you so much for being here. <laughs> now, um, that's pretty impressive sharing the stage with such amazing talents but take me back to when you started playing cello how did it all begin oh um, I actually grew up in Taiwan uh -huh. um, and I would uh, my parents would take me to classical concerts and um, the first time I heard cello was uh, with Yo-Yo Ma uh -huh. and I asked my mom oh my gosh I want to play that instrument so next day I started the lessons oh wow yeah. <laughs> and um, when I grew up in Taiwan I grew up in music schools mm -hmm. and uh, when I was 16 my whole family moved here we immigrated here uh -huh. um, and I started high school here started learning English mm -hmm. and um, finally got a full scholarship to USC yes a full scholarship yeah. <laughs> and I hear that you're one of the first or actually you're the first um, graduate with double music degree yeah yeah I was um, a double major in piano performance and cello performance and, yeah, I'm not the first one to try it, but um, but um, I was the first one to achieve it. Yes. Didn't give up. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank so you. between the two, I'm guessing cello is your more favorite? Um, I wouldn't say my f more favorite, but it's more... Um, uh, I love playing cello because it, I have more opportunity to play with other people. Yes. Like, for example, like concert, chamber yeah. music, orchestra. Yeah. I love doing stuff like that. Where yeah. piano is more like a soloistic um, instrument. Exactly. I still play it. I still love playing it. <laughs> Talking about playing with others, um, I mentioned that you've played with Andrea Bocelli, mm -hmm. Sarah McLaughlin. How does that all come about? Um, I think it started all uh, when I was at USC uh -huh. and um, got some opportunities. Um, you know, the Hollywood agents, they would come to school and they uh -huh. would be like, oh, do you want to play on this TV show in there? And I started actually with Glee. Glee, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what so, was that like? Well, that was great. The uh -huh. first time I was there, I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't even speak. Good thing I wasn't speaking. I was just playing. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> so, do you remember what the first song was that you had to play for Glee? Oh, I think um, it was... Don't ring on my parade. Ah, yeah, yeah. And it was just with all the main characters. They were dancing. Yes. So I just was amazed. L Leah Michelle's day. voice is amazing, yeah. right? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She had a crying scene that day, and uh -huh. then we filmed that every single time, and I had goosebumps all day. Yeah. And that's when I decided this is something that I would love to do yeah. every day in my life. <laughs> it's my career. <laughs> and which is what you're doing now. Yeah. How did you become a resident cellist for Celine Dion? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so after that, um, USC really started this opportunity, opened the door for me. Yeah. And after graduating, I guess, um, I got to, I started networking, and one thing led to another, um, recommendations, people, yeah, like um, some people in Vegas that I performed with was mm -hmm. recommending me because they were looking for a new cellist. Uh -huh. And also people in LA also yeah. were like, oh, Judy Kang. <laughs> so uh, Celine and her producer one day invited me in and was like, oh, like that's here how you play uh, because they needed a new cellist. Right. And so I was like, okay, let's go try it. <laughs> And I went in and it was actually my birthday that it was. day. Yeah. That's a wonderful present, right? I know. It was so memorable because um, my friends actually were all in Big Bear, like <gasps> having this um, birthday trip for me. And for you, but yeah, you weren't there. I actually made up my mind and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go and try it out in Vegas yeah. and play for them because that's one time only, you know, yeah, once in a lifetime opportunity. Of a lifetime, right? Yeah, and I actually got it. So my <laughs> friends were not mad at me anymore. <laughs> Right? They celebrated for you. Exactly. I actually, um, they notified me that day. They were like, oh, you're our first choice. And wow. that was the best birthday gift, 27 birthday awesome. gift ever. What song was it that blew um, them away? Of course, Titanic that yeah. I'm playing yeah. today. And um, all her, you know, top hit songs and everything that we, we, st we also have to dance on the show. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah. So it's really fun. We get up and we dance around. We um, stand up and play. Um, the cello yeah. and we also have um, a solo piece with the three cellos that's um, um, the Michael Jackson song like a, a medley oh, so right. while she's changing we take over the stage and Is really honored <laughs> yeah, yeah so every night we, we um, yeah it's, it's, it's one of my favorite parts I mean her singing is also the best yeah. but yeah it's just such an honor to be able to you know share that stage with her yes. for that five minutes and mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's That's just great. Beautiful. You are amazing. I yeah. mean, you give me goosebumps when you play. I oh. love it. Now, you play from pop music to orchestra to classical. Which one do you like best, or is it even fair to choose? 
<laughs> Actually, I grew up as a classical player. And I was very classically trained and you know, practice six hours a day. Um, but I realized that I really have a love in class, um, pop music too. Pop music, yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. I also have like a very outgoing personality. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I like to hang out with people and yeah. I'm very outspoken. And um, that's not something a lot of classical musicians would have because yeah. usually um, we really spend a lot of time practicing mm -hmm. and spend time with our own instruments. So yes. um, I thought I would take advantage of that and just, you know, let my personality shine. Yeah, I love it. I love your yeah. personality and your music. Oh, thank thank you, you so much for joining us today. Now, for the performance, yeah. tell me what you're going to perform. Um, I'm going to perform with um, Kazumi, who's my pianist, uh -huh. um, a medley of uh, Celine Dion's Titanic, um, yes. followed by <laughs> Sam Smith, uh, Stay With Me. I love that. I love Sam Smith. <laughs> I know. And you just got the best um, Grammys. Yeah, yeah. Now, for more info on you and if we want services with you or yeah, just anything, yeah, mm -hmm. where do we go? Uh, we can go on my website, which uh -huh. should be right here. Yeah, it's on the screen. <laughs> so um, feel free to email me mm -hmm. or just um, contact me for any related information for Judy Kang. Yes, thank you so much, Judy. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll have you perform after the break. Okay, thank you. Again, for more information on Judy, make sure to check out her website, which you see on the screen. Don't go anywhere because Judy and Kazumi perform all when we return.